Hello. I will be your disheveled elf girl this evening, and I am going to be talking about one of my favorite subjects, trees and talking shit about humans. <laughs> so I just started learning more about Mars and Aries, which I am, and its deficiencies. And I start a lot of projects and I don't finish them. On my computer over there, because that's where I'm looking, I have so many documents of things, ideas, scripts of videos that I want to make and I really struggle with manifesting all of that because I'm a perfectionist and it's got to be exactly within the parameters of my expectations which are often a lot higher than I can personally achieve because I don't have the experience to do such things but may you bear witness to me actually forcing past my perfectionist standpoint and just doing it. So this is part of a discussion that I took place in for my Geography of National Parks class. So this first part is going to be information that I took from the lectures, but I still summarized it myself. In 1918, Save the Redwoods League bought redwood groves with private donations to protect it from exploitation. However, outside the protected area, and still in redwood territory, this is in California by the way, logging was negatively impacting the watershed, which was directly impacting the health of the redwoods. In 1960, most of the redwood forest was logged. Conservationists made a call for action and urged Congress to make it a national park to protect it further from exploitation, but both loggers and local citizens opposed the establishment of the park. That's so like humans. A compromise was made in 1969 by President Johnson to protect a little of the land around Redwood Creek. However, logging continued around unprotected parts of the watershed. The consequences were that it created flooding and mud flows, which further threatened the Redwoods. In 1978, Congress finally saw value in its protection and bought the rest of the Redwood Creek watershed, a little too late as 90% of it was clear cut. Restoration work is ongoing to repair the damage of logging. What was lost will never be the same again. It took hundreds of years for it to get to that point of productivity, and in a blink, humans managed to screw it all up. The establishment of Redwood National Park was expensive and controversial because it wasn't clear about what was being protected in national parks. The trees cannot be protected just by themselves as they are a part of a collective organism of other organisms in the science we call ecology. When one organism in an ecosystem is disrupted, it will have an impact on another and can create a domino effect. However, in the case of logging, it can be more like a crashing tsunami of damage and devastation. Imagine all those gigantic, gorgeous trees filtering our air and water, sequestering tons of carbon, regulating temperature, contributing to the health and abundance of our watersheds, gone. It takes hundreds of years for redwoods to mature. No amount of money can buy back ecosystems that take hundreds of years to form ecosystem resilience. You will not be around to see the restoration of the redwood forest. What's here is here, and it's still being locked. If we don't do anything, if we don't have a drastic restoration, they'll be gone forever. That's a huge loss in a world that's experiencing accelerated climate change. Trees make up for a lot of human shortcomings, and I just hope that people see the value in them before it's too late. Let me know what you think about deforestation and human exploitation of our forest resources. Do humans value money over life and a sustainable future? Do you think that humans just need to be more educated in the subjects of ecology and environmental sciences? Anyways, this little forest elf thanks you for listening. Live long and prosper.